everyone, it's KT Pop here, coming at you with a brand new video. Now, I am feeling pretty under the weather today, so I wanted to do something really fun and comforting. If there's one thing that I like collecting other than K-pop, it's plushies. I've been collecting plushies for quite a long time now. We even made a video a while back rating all my plushies on a tier list. I thought it'd be really fun if we could take a look at all my K-pop plushies. Stay tuned for a special presentation. Only one of concert. Yeah. Woo! Oh, I always love that. Cheers. So here's my little plushy sling. I don't know if it's quite so little. I couldn't really think of another way to transport these from the bedroom. All right, should we just randomly pull them out and just see what happens? Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> I think we'll start with my BTS plushies. I was very into BTS when I first started getting into K-pop, which a lot of people are. So I have some pretty cool ones that I'll show you guys. The first one is this Jungkook cookie plushie. I got this one at the Line Friends store in Tokyo the first time I ever went to Japan. It's so squishy. Oh, <laughs> that wasn't good. He is very squishy, very pink. Actually looking a little bit worse for wear here. It's a little bit brown. <laughs> I don't know if that comes up on camera, but it's looking pretty dirty. Just the classic character. Um, these have been around for a long time. These little characters of all the BTS boys. He was my bias back when I was really into BTS. So cute. I like the little heart bum. That's kind of cute. I don't know about these like flat plushies. I don't think I really buy a lot of these anymore. Do you like a flat one? Is that what they're called? Prone? It does feel kind of nice to hum though. Uh, one ear up, one ear down, one eyebrow down, one eyebrow straight. There he is. I don't really know what else to say about him. Thanks, Line Friends Tokyo. BT21. Yeah, that's the name of the range. BT21. I didn't even say that. BT21. They still sell heaps of this shit. Made in China. There you go. That's the first one. My first BTS plushie. Let's move on to another one. A Jin Pillow plushie. This one is from the House of BTS, BTS pop-up store in Seoul in 2019. My friend Alida actually picked this up for me. She's in the line from I think like five in the morning. It was either very hot or very cold. <laughs> it was extreme weather conditions and she lined up for hours with all these other army. We were messaging back and forth. She's like, what do you want? What's your order of preference for members? Which things do you want? It was a pretty high stress situation. I was lucky enough to get this gin pillow. There he is, blonde hair gin in a little star suit, yellow tie, slacks. Love a pair of slacks. <laughs> Don't you? I used to. Slacks. I told you I've got a lot of plushies. I have a whole pile of them right next to my bed. So as soon as I step out of my bed, there's plushies. Do I trip on them? Yes, absolutely. But I can't put them all there. So this is one of the ones that is on this like shelf that's in my walk-in that's just full of shit basically and a lot of plushies. They do get a little bit dusty up there. This one's not that, oh, it's got like stains on it. It's like literal like, it looks like coffee stains or something. I think I need to put these in the wash. Everyone's probably watching this and being like, oh my God, how have you not looked after these BTS plushies all these years? Rip. They're kind of like nostalgic. They remind me of when I first got into K-pop. They make me think of my friend Alita and our friendship. So it holds like quite a nice nostalgic vibe and a special vibe. So I will never get rid of these unless someone offers me like <laughs> $2,000 or something. The final BTS plushie I have that I want to show is this one of V from BTS. So again, this was from the Seoul House of BTS pop-up store. It's got like a little BTS logo on there. And here he is with his two-toned hair. I love the two-toned hair. I think that's the reason I ended up getting this one because I thought that it kind of looked the coolest. Like it had a pretty cool outfit with this little suspender combo and the two-toned hair. He's also got pink eyebrows, which is kind of a sleigh. These outfits, like you can take these off. So that's kind of cool. Oh my God, he's got underwear on. This is weird that I'm undressing He's still going, so you got to commit. <laughs> I'm halfway there. Yeah, he's got underwear on. Oh, you can't take the underwear off. Okay, that's probably a good thing. Oh my God. <laughs> that's not a real person. It is a real person though. Oh my God. It's a doll of a person. You're still going. <laughs> there you go. 
There's the little doll underneath. Oh yeah, maybe I shouldn't have taken it off. It's gonna be really hard to get back on as well. It's over, you gotta, you committed. It's all over. Actually, I did bring like an extra piece of clothing that I wanted to try on. I got this little Hello Kitty dress. I thought it could be fun if we tried to put this on someone. <laughs> what? How's that gonna fit on this guy? It might. Just get his lime in there. Oh my God, that's cute. Look at that. Oh, it doesn't quite fit. Where did I buy it? The San Rio store, I bought this little Karomi and then I bought her all these clothes. And yeah, I bought her this little Hello Kitty dress, but it actually doesn't look that good on her. Either he can wear it or better idea, I'll go back to the Sanrio store and buy a Hello Kitty doll. Those dolls are so cute. But this is why I end up with so many freaking plushies and dolls, because I can't stop myself because they're so freaking cute. There we go. House of BTS pop up V plushie. Bonus dress. The next one I wanted to show is this little mini Ive doll. So this was from the Ive pop up in Seoul last year. So this is a very recent addition to my collection. Again, Alida got this for me when I was still in Australia, but she was in Korea and I went and met her. So this came back with me in my suitcase. I'm actually not like a huge Ive stan, but I just thought these dolls were adorable and I had to have one. So this one is I think called Dali. Dali, I've still got the labels on this. I haven't even cut them off. And this is for the member Gaul. I just think this is so cute. I love squirrels. I say that a squirrel is my spirit animal. We won't go into the story about how that came about. He loves but... nuts. <laughs> that's not it. Squirrels are my spirit animal, so that's one of the reasons I got this. But then someone told me that it was actually a chipmunk, so I don't know. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Does that look like a squirrel or a chipmunk to you? It's got an acorn. Don't yeah, squirrels eat acorns? Chipmunks have like small tails. Yeah, it's a squirrel. It's a squirrel. But then these make me think about chipmunks. Yeah. Just write in the comments down below if you think it's a squirrel or a chipmunk. No Google allowed. But yeah, adorable, adorable. Look at the little heart for the nose, the little red cheeks, the eyes. There's like a little beauty mark here. I think this is just a really well-made plushie. Like this is a lot better than some of the other ones that I've seen from <laughs> as I turn it over and there's like fluff coming out the back. You can't take this off, can you? <laughs> You're destroying all of your plushies. No, I'm not. Do not use washing machine to, for defection. What? I was actually thinking before that I was going to put my BTS ones in the washing machine. Maybe I shouldn't. It says how much it weighs, 90 grams. That's interesting. Why do they need to put that on there? This is cute. There's like a little picture of Dali dancing there with a little microphone on. Oh, that's cool. Little logo of Ive there, sparkly. Starship Entertainment. Yes, they are from Starship Entertainment. Cute. I'm obsessed with her. She's been sleeping in the bed with me. Yeah, I love her. The next one I wanted to show is my Felix plushie. So this was the, how do you even say this? Skazoo? Skazoo? SK Zoo? That's this line of plushies. This is one of the original ones from when they first came out. Obviously, he didn't come in this little outfit. This is one that I picked up from Etsy and I just thought this one was so cute. We will take this outfit off so we can see the actual plushie, but I got this little outfit. It's a little cat. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like squish squishing the eyeballs in. Yeah, to and show the way you aggressively said cat, <laughs> you were squishing the eyeballs. Cat! In. Yeah, it's a little hood that goes on his head. Very, very cute. The little scarf. And I don't know what this is a bag, but it's a little bag with a fish on it. <laughs> This goes missing every night. Felix also sleeps in the middle with um, Dali. His clothes are always falling off. And I find this like in random parts of the bed, like under my pillow, at my feet, like on the floor. This little outfit, it's cute, but it does come off all the time. And then he's got these little overalls. Oh my God, it's so cute. Little pocket. I can't believe someone hand makes all this shit. And on the back, it's got a little tail and then a little, little jacket with little paws on it. Isn't this just like the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life? I will put the name of the Etsy store here. So if you guys wanna buy some clothes for your dolls, you can go check them out. This is what he looks like naked. <laughs> it's a chicken. Yeah, so all the Stray Kids members have their own little animals, like a lot of K-pop groups do. I do actually have the original top that I just found. This is the original top that he came in. This little Stray Kids t-shirt. So it's got SKZ on the, the front here. And I guess that's supposed to be like, I don't know, like a label? What's that supposed to be? <laughs> Probably goes the other way, right? 
That's not going to fit. Too happy. Made in China. I think there's a common thread here. Let's put the silver. Oh my god, I haven't seen him in this shirt for ages. Oh my god, it's cute. Maybe I'll keep him in this t-shirt for now. Actually, I did find these little pants. <laughs> this is just devolving into a video that I think Josh wasn't expecting of me just dressing dolls. I should have known. <laughs> hmm. What do you think? I feel like when he was Donald Duck in it, it looked cooler. Oh, it is a bit Donald Duck, isn't it? The little pants. What? Now it looks like gangster, like baggy pants with the top. Soleil, Felix. There are a lot of fakes out there on um, the internet that you can buy. And I have one of them. I have a Lee bit. I got it from a core machine in Melbourne, actually. It looks pretty shit. Yeah, we can see, we can look at it side by side. There's a bit of a size difference there. A little bit skinnier and longer, like very strange. And this t-shirt is just not it. It's like when you buy those really cheap t-shirts that feel like the scuba gear, like really cheap fabric. Oh, it's got slits down the side, or is that just broken? Oh, it's just broken. <laughs> this one is for Lino from Stray Kids. And yeah, not the best fake I've seen, I don't think. It's even got a little label on the t-shirt. Made in China. But yeah, look how weird his face is. This side is round and then this is like a weird oval shape. Oh, the ears are like all uneven as well. And the arms, everything's just uneven. Let's have a look at this little belly. <laughs> That's kind of cute, a little pink belly. But this pink is different to the color of the ears as well. They're probably supposed to be the same. Does it have one pointy ear and one rounded ear? Yeah, like, it's fucked. But they just mass produce this shit and people buy it. You know, like fair enough, you know, if you, if you want a cute plushie that kind of looks like the real thing and maybe you can't afford to buy these ones or you just want like a whole set, because I can't afford to buy like eight of these as the, all the members of Stray Kids, you can look at it and know that you've got the real thing. Stray Kids were a really big part of my K-pop journey at the start as well, like BTS. I really love this plushie. I will never sell it. Skazoo! Oh, it's nice to see he's got his pants on. He does have his pants on. Here's the next one. Lord Taemin! There he is, looking nothing like Taemin. What is going on with the hair? That's what I want to know. Anyway, this was bought at the SM Town store in 2019. That store is actually now non-existent. It closed down and there's a brand new store now that's open. I actually got quite emotional when I was there, which is kind of strange. Actually, not, not that strange. I get emotional over a lot of things, especially K-pop related. But yeah, it's very cute. Alita got this for me, again. I feel like she bought me half of these plushies. <laughs> looking a little worse for wear. I'm trying to remember if this shirt was supposed to be white because it is no longer white. It looks quite yellow. <laughs> and his t-shirt somehow has gotten pilled, even though it's never been washed. Red t-shirt and some blue pants. These pants, as Josh alluded to, do not fucking stay on. They just fall off constantly. So has he already got shoes on? Okay, hold on. I found the shoes. But now I'm thinking that maybe these aren't Taman's shoes. I think maybe they're V's shoes. Oh no, I forgot that he was naked. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the V one is worse. It's got like a real bad double chin there, which he definitely doesn't have, so. Yeah, so I don't think he's actually fit him. And you can see he's actually got like white on his feet. So I feel like that's supposed to be the shoes. Or maybe they're socks. But then V doesn't have anything. So let's see who, this is like a Cinderella moment here. Let's see who the shoe fits. I don't, <laughs> whose shoes are these? <laughs> and I'm always freaking out that I've lost these shoes and I don't even know who they belong to. What is my life? Oh my God, I cannot. Is this riveting content? Is this what you guys are spending your time doing? Watching a fucking 30 something year old woman putting shoes onto a doll that don't fit? Oh, okay. I think they're V's shoes. Because I think Taman's feet are... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nah, this is fucked. <laughs> Taman, your feet are big. I actually don't think his feet are very big. I could probably Google like how big his feet are, but I'm not going to because it's kind of weird. But I know for a fact that his hands are very small because I went to that place in Korea where you can put your hand like on their hand that they've molded into brass and his hands are extremely small. I think 
like that big as like his fingers. So I'm assuming his feet are kind of small too. Did you say brass again? Brass? <laughs> yeah, okay. So I'm pretty sure they're V's shoes. <laughs> yep. That's not it, sunshine. I'm not gonna spend time putting this other shoe on here. Oh, I'm gonna lose it. I feel like I wanna take his clothes off. <laughs> Let's just see what's going on. Shiny character doll, SM Entertainment. Let's see what the shirt looks like. Oh, there's not even any buttons on it or anything. Just like a little seam down there. I've saved the best for last. These are my favorite K-pop plushies that I own. And it is these little Ace dolls. They are adorable. The detail on these is fucking incredible. Here we go. I did look up earlier which one was which. I'm gonna guess and then we're gonna think, see if I'm right. This one I know for sure is Jun, my bias. I believe this one is BK. This one is, is Chan, I think. This one's Chan. Um, then we just have Dongan and Wow left. I honestly think this one is Wow and this one is Dongan. Let's check. Okay, yes. Dongan, Wow, Jun, BK, Chan. Yay! I got these dolls uh, a while ago. I think probably 2019 when they first came out. I bought the set. They came, I think, with photo cards, which are super cute. I don't really know how to explain them other than like the sound of music. You know, you're running on the, the Alpine mountains. What, <laughs> how do you call that? World War II. <laughs> Not World War II. Scandinavian type Lauderhausen. <laughs> Lederhosen. yeah. I just think they're really detailed and cute. They are smaller than those other ones, but I just think the smaller ones, they can put more detail into them. The eyes are just like stitched perfectly. And I like how the shape of the eyes kind of really goes with the actual member. Like, especially with BK here, it really mimics the, the shape of his eyes. They've even got little metal earrings on a lot of them, which I think is very, very cool. Oh, I really like the ones with suspenders. His suspenders are fallen down. Can you put it back up? This one I actually bring to work with me sometimes as like emotional support. <laughs> I love the little fangs on this one. Jun has like little teeth, like little fangy teeth. So that really shows up on his doll. So it's just nice that they all have like little features of all the members. Oh, all the others are like very, you know, beige. And then BK is just like, yeah, I'm wearing like a, a circus outfit but it kind of really tracks with his personality, to be honest. And I actually haven't looked at them all together in a little while. So it was really nice to grab them out and have a proper look at them. Maybe I should like have a little go at switching the outfits up and yeah, have a little bit of a play with them. Cause I think they're really, really fun. And I love Ace. I'm so happy Ace are back. Ace are back as five, OT5 forever. Obsessed. Eee! Uh, this was a really fun look at all my K-pop plushies. I am currently waiting for my 80s Yasun plushie, which I've been waiting for for forever. When I do get him, I will show him off in a video because I think that is gonna be my new favorite in my collection. Let me know which plushie you like the most and also send me some photos of your favorite K-pop plushies. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye. Opa! Shit. Where do I get to my tabs? <laughs> it's just fluff everywhere. I don't know, I'm a dummy. Should I pop the champ pop the pop the champagne? I feel like I'm gonna make a massive fuck up of this. Which camera do I aim it at? Preferably not. <laughs> Calm down, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Do you actually think that was stupid? Whoopa! This is one of the mini Ive dolls. You want to start again when you're not picking stuff off it. Oh. <laughs> Did you have a look at any of these before you put them in the bindle? No. Then who's the duck that wears pants? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs>